Hi guys, Jason from JVA Carpy Adventures here. So it's another Friday evening after work and I'm back down at Mouso Lakes. This time I'm actually on Kestrel Lake, which <laughs> if you've been watching the vlogs you know I haven't had a lot of success here. This is probably going to be about my sixth time fishing this lake and I've only ever had one fish from Swim 6 which is over the opposite side. Today I'm in Swim 3. So obviously I've spoke to Rod asked his advice where I should be fishing he's given me some wraps to go out to so I think that's probably the initial plan for tonight unless I see anything else so I'll show you that on a later clip but for now obviously as I'm sure you can see there isn't anything set up in the swim at all so I need to get it all, all get all the house out get everything sorted just nothing in there at all at the minute put the rod rest down but other than that that's my water out in front and I'll give you an update later guys. One other thing, roll the intro. Hi guys, so it kind of occurred to me that you always get to see me on the bank but actually what you don't get to see is all the prep that goes in before you actually hit the bank fishing and for example one of the things now is I'm just kind of pimping up one of our baits so obviously I'm lucky enough to be sponsored by bait solutions and as you would with most venues uh, if you can get the opportunity to talk to the bay list before you arrive find out what's been happening on the particular lake you fish in and so I've spoke to Rod and he said that the tiger nut and maple seem to be doing quite well on Kestrel Lake, which is where I'm going this weekend. So, we have at Bait Solutions Total Nuts. I'm halfway there. So, I kind of thought, you know what, let me get a bit of good old maple syrup. Put it in a little cup with some hot water to make it not quite so thick. And then just mix that up with some nice boilies, get it all soaking around in there and then that can literally soak in over the next day and a half and you're going to have lovely lovely flavour in there, it does smell absolutely divine now if I'm honest but a couple of days when that's all soaked in they will be total nuts and maple syrup. There's other things obviously guys as well, you, you know you're charging batteries Hi guys, just wanted to show you some of the things you have to charge before you get to the bank. So it's always about prep and one of the things is obviously make sure you've got everything charged. So what we've got over here, we've got the batteries for the alarms, we've got the batteries for the DSLR, we've got the batteries for the action cam, we've got power pack for charging the phone, you've got the batteries for the drone, you've got a backup battery pack. You've got the mozzie zapper. Oh, sorry, that also hasn't mentioned the bait boat battery, which I've already charged. And that's all part of prep, so you've got more free time on the bank to be watching the water and looking out for the fish. I've put new Aptus Tackle tungsten uh, tubing on all my rods before I've gone. I'll make up a load of PVA bags. All right, guys, so there we go. A little bit more prep done. Just some PVA bags. So... Just so you can see, I'm using Aptus solid bags. So that's Aptus tackle and obviously Bait Solutions hook links and liquid attractant, which I generally put on when I'm on the bank. I'll make up more rigs. I'm going to show you a few things that I do this time, guys, before I actually go to the bank. So it's not a case of just rocking up on the bank, throwing your rods out. Preparation is key. So, you know, try and minimise what you have to do on the bank do it before you go to the bank that way you've got time to be watching the water going to be on these this weekend guys the Aptus Tackle resistor bullet leads check them bad boys out new Aptus Tackle resistor bullet leads I've paired them with their tungsten tubing which I've got to tell you guys it is so good for trying to thread your line through goes through well easy so I'm going to do all three rods this weekend. Hi 
Hi guys, so finally set up in this absolutely roasting heat. I am sweating like a pig. It is so, so hot. Anyway, the rods are in. It's Friday evening. I thought I'd show you where I've got my rods and what I've got them on. So we'll start with the right hand rod. I'm basically, actually if I first of all say, if you see this reed island here and then scan across to the other island, essentially I've put all three of my rods kind of within that channel. So the first one is, I'm gonna try and point it out. So just about four foot off of the island to the right, then one in the middle, then just in front of the reed. So I've gone 14 wraps out here, 15 wraps out here, 16 wraps out here. The right hand rod is on a 18 mil bait solutions total nuts, which I kind of pimped up during the week with some maple syrup. The middle rod is on a Bait Solutions Red Tuna pop-up on a Ronnie rig, which has been coated with some Red Tuna liquid attractant and then some chopped up boilies. So it's got a real bit of crumb that should be coming off of that. And then the one right in front of the Reed Island, so the one all the way over there, if I can show you it, one all the way over here, that's gonna be a Total Nuts wafter. So I've gone for singles today, no PVA bags out currently, just singles. All of them have about five or six total nuts boilies over the top of them. And throughout the evening, I'll probably be catapulting every couple of hours, probably another four or five boilies in the vicinity of them, just to try and get a bit of attractant over there. Maybe a bit of noise might draw them in. So night one, let's see where we're gonna be at the end of the night. It's absolutely roasting here, guys. This is Kestrel Lake on the Mousehold Complex. Absolutely beautiful lake. I mean, really, really beautiful. It only has six swims, and all of them are beautiful. All of them command a good bit of water. Like I said, I am in swim three, which is one of the ones that's kind of known to produce, so hopefully we won't have another blank on this session. It'd be nice if I had a vlog where I had a fish again. So I'll keep you updated with anything that might happen throughout the evening, guys, and the night. If not, I'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. Good time and deep. Didn't see it from the other side, did I? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know. I didn't need that. The back level. Good timing, too. Yeah. That's a good bit of net in there, sir. Nice, mate. <laughs> uh, what was that? 14 wraps out towards the reed? Was it? Yeah, of course it was. There I went 14, go, 15, 16. I did exactly what you told me to. Fantastic. <laughs> Alright, guys, so first evening on Kestrel, swim free. Spots recommended by Rod the Bailiff, I hate saying it. Just put out some boilies as he also said. Been blessed with this beautiful 19 pound grass carp, guys. Absolute bullet. And I know it's gonna beat me up a little bit, I'm sure. Always pull them into you, roll them forward. Pretty difficult on this one, I've gotta be honest.
All right guys, so before I put it back out, I just thought I'd show you what I had that 19 pound grassy on. My only second ever fish from Kestrel, so I'm obviously pretty pleased with that. And first off, I'm actually using quite a lot of Aptus Tackle stuff today. So I've got their tungsten tubing on, which, guy, it sinks like a brick. The other thing which is probably really important is I've got their resistor bullet leads on and obviously it, it nailed that grassy. I've got actually a Ronnie rig on today and I'm using Bait Solutions Red Tuna on a Ronnie rig. So just thought I'd show you that before I put it back out guys. Rod's in less than two hours, swim free, Kestrel Lake and I've had a fish. <laughs> I've broke the blank. Yeah, you broke the blank. So I had a lovely 19 pound grass carp, uh, my first out of this lake, I've only ever had two fish out of this lake, one was a common, that was a grass carp, it's uh, great, really really happy with that, good start to session as well, fantastic start to session, especially considering I've been blanking the last two, so great, happy days, obviously got the rod back out, and a little bit of a surprise for me, because uh, this week I'm actually doing things differently, I'm predominantly a solid bag guy I like to use solid bags I know it's presented well blah 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 happy with it I've had 90% of my fish over the last three years on solid bags but this week I decided to try a different approach I've, I've been on here probably five times previously always using solid bags only ever had one fish so I thought well you know I'm gonna try singles so I actually had that fish on a red bait solutions red tuna pop-up using a Ronnie rig which is another thing I don't really use all that often uh, you know Ronnie rigs I use very rarely it depends on circumstances but normally I, I like my multi rig and use that 90% of the time so happy days I've had a fish on a pop-up happy days can't be better bait prep for this one I, I did bait solutions total nuts but I put in a bit of maple syrup with them just to try and bring another little flavour in there so that's what's out there tonight but obviously that one was on a red tuna so I've got two on uh, total nuts pimped with a little bit of maple syrup and one on red tuna I'm going to stick with that tonight I'm going to stick with my spots tonight it's looking quite nice out there it's finally starting to cool down I am absolutely roasting I've, I've got beaten up by the grass cart which always happens Fortunately, I had Rod on hand to give me a hand. Cheers, Rod. And very, very happy with the result, but hopefully now I can capitalise on it over the weekend. The main thing is the pressure's off now. I don't know about you guys, but whenever you go fishing, I know it's meant to be relaxed and all, but there's always pressure, uh, and more pressure now that I'm doing vlogs than before. So to get that first fish out of the way, it's like, oh, good stuff. Now you can just kind of sit back, relax, watch the water, move stuff around if you see, as you would normally, but there's just a lot less pressure once you've caught that first fish. And uh, being a grassy as well, super special for me. Not had, I've only had probably about three or four grasses in all my life, so yeah, really happy with that one. Nice result, let's hope we can get some big girls on the bank for you. Fingers crossed. Give you an update later, guys. So the new canteen is open, and this is probably the thing I eat the most of. Chili chicken bites and chips. Absolutely love it, guys. Morning, morning guys. So quarter past five, Saturday morning. Let me sip a copy. And no fish during the night. So obviously having that fish quite quick, I kind of did think I was in the right area for the fish. I did see one, I saw a couple fish actually bash out tight to the island. So I moved my right hand rod uh, tighter to the island, I was about four or five foot off so I've moved it tighter into the island with fingers crossed on that one but nothing happened guys so as always I tend to leave my rods in till at least nine, half nine because I always believe it will happen in the morning the morning bites are quite good, the sun's not quite up yet I'll zoom you around in a minute show you what it's looking like out there it's still looking lovely so I think if I don't have anything by that time, obviously at the minute everything's on the deck and I'm probably go back to the van, grab the other bait boat that's got the deeper attachment to it, 
put the deeper out there and have a look where they are because I suspect they're probably in the upper layers or you know at least not on the deck so I suspect they're probably in the upper layers and I think you know maybe zigs might be the way to go today so have a little look on deeper see if I can find the spots I, to be fair you know I'm, I wasn't unhappy with the spots Rod recommended them to me obviously caught fairly quick just after putting out about another five or six boilies over each spot so there is one other spot under a willow tree quite a bit closer so on my left margin that to be fair will be definitely definitely will be putting a rod under there today I, I put a little bit of bait under it yesterday uh, and didn't fish it so I kind of prepped it for today so willow tree left hand rod that's definitely going to be one one of my rods for sure and I still think the island should really produce but I just might be at the wrong height so I will probably be moving over to maybe a couple of zigs or maybe all of them on zigs I don't know I'll have a look on the bait boat out with the deeper see what's happening but for now that's your update for this morning guys actually let me just show you exactly exactly what it's like on the other side let's have, give you a little look so there you go guys not exactly terrible really nice and light hi guys somehow i managed to lose the audio uh for saturday morning's update essentially i had put the bait boat out had a look around found that to be fair fish were holding up closer to the islands so i put total nuts either side left and right to the island and in the middle i put a four and a half foot zig as always whenever i'm fishing there you always get murphy come and say hello to you that's the fishery one of the fisheries dog absolutely lovely it's always nice having a little friend with you yeah right, guys just give you a quick little update for saturday night ended up having another fish so give you a little bit of footage here all right guys so night two saturday going into the evening again not long past where i had the first fish yesterday i've been lucky enough to get another off the island it's an 18 and a half pound mirror beautiful you're gonna look very foamy fella Alright guys, 18 and a half pound. Beautiful mirror. That was off the Reed Island on Bait Solutions Total Nuts Wafter with a few of my pimped up boilies that you would have seen me do earlier on in the vlog. Obviously it helps if you have the bailiff let you know what spots are good to go for. <laughs> so yeah, that's a good result. So going into second night with two fish so after my two blanks on the previous vlogs that's really welcome so hopefully never know i think there's definitely since it's cooled down quite a bit as well there's definitely time for another fish before the morning obviously i generally leave early on a sunday morning so nine nine ten o'clock at the absolute latest so hopefully fingers crossed time for another fish and if i do i'll be sure to give you an update stay safe guys guys so Sunday morning about 20 past 5 didn't have anything through the night I had one liner which got me up but other than that nothing else obviously I'm definitely not complaining we've had two fish from here both evenings Friday evening Saturday evening so very happy with that was kind of hoping for another one but still got three hours before I pack up so fingers crossed could always get another one before i leave but i think the big difference for me this week has been that instead of using solid pva bags like i would normally and have always done here 
Uh, this week I've gone for singles, so I think that's been making a difference. Also, I've been using those Actus Tackle Resistor Bullet Leads, and I think they've been nailing them big time, to be fair. I think where they now pick up, you know, from the heavier side of the lead, you sort of engage the weight of the lead straight away. It does seem to me like the hook codes have been really good. To be fair, I've never had that massive problem with hook codes. I've been fairly confident with my hook codes and all the rest. But I do think it's definitely helped. So I'll let you go for now, guys. Time to have a coffee. And if I don't get any more fish, then I'll give you an update at the end. But if I do, I'll give you another update. How lovely is that, guys? Beautiful Sunday morning and a hot air balloon going by. Hi guys, so coming to the end of my session, Bivy's all packed down, just about to bring the rods in, so I thought I'd better say a quick end to this session. So it's been a good one for me. No blank this time, thank God. So the first night, fr Friday night, I ended up having a 19 pound grassy, which is my first out of this lake. Second night, Saturday, I ended up having an 18 and a half pound mirror. Would have shown you a mirror already, so great stuff. Really happy with that result. Obviously, as always, we hope we get more, but two fish for me on this lake is fantastic, uh, especially since I've been blanking the last two vlogs, so happy days. Guys, if you like this sort of thing, please hit the subscribe the like and if you want to be not notified of future posts hit that bell icon for me uh, also guys if you have any questions or anything that I might be able to answer please feel free to post and I will answer and if you have any subjects maybe you'd like me to cover as well during the vlogs put that in the comments below and uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys so stay safe stay fishing and see you in the next vlog guys